I'm Aaron Becker, and I'm at the University of Houston. Uh, and this work is work that I did at Boston Children's Hospital with Pierre DuPont and why she fell for it. So we've been looking at how you can take milli-robots, power them by MRI, and use that MRI to take these milli-robots and assemble a tool called a Gauss gun. So we're motivated by a medical condition called hydrocephalus, and that's where the brain ventricle becomes blocked. So fluid pressure builds up inside the brain and it can kill brain tissue. And so the current treatment is to bore a hole through the skull and then insert a shunt to relieve that pressure. However, science fiction authors have a long dream that instead of avoiding these large access holes, and instead <laughs> shrinking down the tools to millimeter size, navigating them through the passageways of the body, and then bringing them directly to the problem. So our team has been investigating using MRIs for this, because the MRI offers unparalleled soft tissue imaging, so we can see the depth into the body. And we also can attack the, the magnetic field of the MRI through software, and so we can use that magnetic field to power our robots, see where they are, and control them. And so we've been doing this for the last few years. We're showing that we can control needle actuator robots, we can make robots that walk around inside the MRI. But one limitation that we run up against is that the MRI can only provide about 40% of the force of gravity. That means if you have your, a small steel robot, you can move that around, but you can't push it through tissue. So we needed a way that we could get more force. And so we were inspired by a toy that's called a Gauss gun. And a Gauss gun is a very specific arrangement of permanent magnets and steel spheres uh, that stores up a bunch of potential energy in the form of magnetic energy. And then if you roll a, a single ball in from one side, it sets up a chain reaction with these magnets. And then a steel sphere the inner, at the other side rockets out very quickly. So this was a way that we could store magnetic energy. And so we investigated you know, how you could optimize this. We've got a tool online that you can use to optimize your Gauss gun by changing different parameters. And if you want to build one of these inside an MRI, you've got to make a number of substitutions. And what you end up with is you have, I've got a, a large scale prototype here. You've got a large, two, a pairs of large steel spheres that are separated by a titanium spacer. And so you can take each of these compo components and you can navigate them individually through the body and they're stable. And you can link up multiple components to get more power. And then you can bring in a specialized trigger mechanism which sets off these and fires off the last one. So the delivery vehicles that we've been using is an 18-gauge needle. And we've been looking at tissue penetration and drug delivery with that. So we've got a number of video highlights that are on our, our YouTube channel where you can see uh, how we're using these robots to penetrate cyst models that are made out of water balloons full of, of dye inside a clinical MRI scan. So there's, there's lots of things to see there, so I'd love to direct you to our YouTube channel for that.